Hi, and welcome to my YouTube page. I'm Clint Sabom, Executive Spiritual Coach for Franz Barden Practitioners. And can you feel it? Can you feel the Barden energy? Um, on this video, I'm basically going to talk about the biggest problem I hear from clients when it comes to Barden practices and ways to work around it and ways to work with it. But that problem is consistency. And the problem is life gets in the way and life responsibilities basically get in the way of things or we come to a kind of stuck point in working through the steps and in initiation into hermetics life kind of gets in the way and we put it on pause. We never consistently practice. But the thing I want to remind everyone on, and this is a common problem that we all face, I face this same dilemma. But what you've got to remember is any spiritual practice you do is going to help with Barden work. It's not like Barden's system is isolated from other mystical traditions. Other things, you know, even like non-mystical stuff, like mindfulness getting big in psychology, a whole lot of things you can do for a little bit of time each day are going to help the Barden work in the long run. And if Barden work pauses, it doesn't mean everything needs to pause and you need to just go in pause mode. Because, for example, and I'm going to give a good bit of examples, for example, you drink fluids and you eat every day. So what you could basically do is simply impregnate that food and liquid with a wish and do that throughout the day because you're going to eat and drink. That's basically going to happen. And if that's all you do, that's all you do. And you can impregnate it with a wish of, I am healthy or I, am, I have abundance or whatever the wish may be. Even if it applies to external things, I don't see a huge problem in doing that as well. Although with the auto-suggestion technique mentioned by Barden, he says it's more about spiritual development. So it's easier to manifest it if it's really just about your personality. Even if it's something as simple as, I am more clear-headed, I am more focused, and impregnating all the food and water throughout the day. And that's it. Don't do anything else. If life's getting in the way, just make that your only thing. The other thing you could make is your only thing is once a day, and it takes about 15 minutes, do a sitting meditation. I've mentioned this before. And breathe in and out, that's one. In and out, that's two. And go from one to 200. And if your mind wanders, that's fine. Just stay on count. Just stay on count and don't lose count. And even if your mind gets so scrambled you lose count, just begin again on approximately what number you thought you were and get up to 200, 15 minutes a day, and you're done. And that's going to help with all the elemental charging, with all the visualization exercises, with all the magical equilibrium, that one exercise will help if that's the only thing you have time for. Or the other thing you could just, just do is physical exercise every day. Just a little bit of physical exercise. For instance, I do squats every day. It takes about 10 minutes and it basically supercharges me with chi. You know, doing squats will charge the body with the life force vitality that Barden mentions. And even if that's the only thing you feel capable of doing, just do that, you know. So there's the Zen meditation, there's the squats, there's impregnating it with a wish, 
and just stay stuck on the stuff you're stuck on and just do those things for a while and don't stress about it or think you need to pause. But if you do get at a stuck point, I can certainly help you over it, you know. I mean, I'm at thegraveyardcowboy at gmail.com. Send me an email, and we can set up a coaching session. But really, consistency because of life stuff getting in the way is the hardest thing. And the ways to work around it is cut yourself some slack don't necessarily feel like you have to do a lot of barden work and it's hanging over your head. Just do some things each day until you get to a point where you're able to devote more time. And that's fine. It keeps you going spiritually. And, you know, barden system is not isolated. It has correspondences in all the mystical traditions of the world, you know, be it Buddhism, Christian mysticism, paganism, you know, uh, Hinduism, it has correlates. So anyways, hope that helps and many blessings to all.